Okay, yeah, I'm done. Let's turn it on. Oh, wait, there. Oh, yeah, the free volume control. Okay, basically volume control is a group of enthusiastic teenagers who all work together to put on monthly all-ages gigs in the OEM Music Centre. And how hard is it, like, organising a gig? Like, how is it like, Way gigs? harder than you'd expect. Like, I think we all kind of have. You know the way you go to gigs and you see them put on, you're like, this is easy, you just have the band on, the band go off, that's it. But there's so much, like, behind the scenes that you don't realise. Like, just the whole promoting is so, so hard. Like. As well as, you know, having physical flyers, you have to do the whole like on social networking on Facebook and Twitter and making the posters and getting them out there and, you know, we're starting to like contact schools and stuff because we just want more people to hear about it. But it's the most disheartening thing when you yeah. put all the effort in all month and you go and there's 50 people at the gig and it's yeah. just like all this work for nothing. So And it's hard, it's really like cool. when you're flyering and people, you know, when they don't take them or they just like throw them on the floor after, so there is a lot of like... But they're ones we cut out ourselves, yeah. we, we cut them all <laughs> ourselves and they just throw them no. on the floor. How do you keep up with school? So sometimes like I would come straight from school with like my bag and everything and then our folder and then you're like, okay, alright, volume control. And it is that like you have to create a balance between like school work and volume control, so I think that's kind of tricky. Hi, we're Urban Avenue. Um... I'm Tony. I'm Gavin. I'm, I'm Ross. I forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm BJ. Like we're all in the same year in school and basically just decided to create a band. If you get one gig, you get hopefully yeah. somebody is there at that gig to see you and they offer you more gigs. So you need to just pretty much keep it rolling and it's hard work. You need to work very hard for it. Yeah. So you remember your very first gig? I think you yes. formed in March 2011, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Most bands, the first few gigs will be in churches. And that was yeah. for us, yeah. And it was like this church thing that put on like a battle of the bands. And we, I think we were the only band there who wasn't, you know, a worship band. <laughs> and it was, and yeah, I think Ross was, this is when we were only, Ross only signed off us once before. And he was singing like two keys lower than his, you know, his voice was comfortable <laughs> with. And The thing is, as a band, you always look back on a few months ago and just think, oh, we were really bad back then. We've improved so much, but then when we look back and now in a few months, we'll be, oh, we were really bad back then. So it's just, yeah. you're yeah. just constantly getting so better. And that's, day, just an experience gain. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's the, I think that's the best thing about our gigs. Uh, aside fans, we decided from pretty much the very start that we always take the band seriously. Like we understand that a lot of bands are in bands for fun and that's great, but we just thought we'd really love to take it a bit more seriously and try and yeah. see how far we can bring it on. So, do you yeah. remember your worst gig ever? Your worst yeah. gig? Oh, oh that's <laughs> a, like, that's what was your biggest failure in your mind? Well, what happened was we were told to play one song and we practiced um, naive, however we were, like we practiced and practiced, practiced that one song. And we got there and then they said, oh, we're gonna let you do two songs each. So we kind of looked at each other going, oh no, this is bad. Yeah. We've only practiced one song. Yeah. That was one of the biggest lessons we've learned. If you're, no matter how much you're told, just practice your whole set. <laughs> we've had a lot we've of names. We've had a lot of names, yeah. horrible names. When I first, joined, like when I first joined the band, uh, we were called... Don't do it. Don't, don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> no, they have to know. We were called... <laughs> <laughs> we were called Dancing with Girls. Your very first gig as Northern Conquerors. The whole, the whole game was only three songs, I think. Oh yeah. It was the start of a, of a battle of the bands. So we had to play each band played three songs. Mm. I'd rush out a changeover and he didn't know the songs either. We were like yeah. them before he went on. <laughs> See, when you, when you start a new band, like all your friends come, yeah. and then after a few weeks of that, that's when you can test how well you're doing because when your friends and family stop coming, <laughs> that's when it's a test of how well you're doing. Which one was your most memorable gig? Two, there's, we played with General Fiasco, which is like the first time we played with like a, two really big audience. Yeah. There's like 1,500 people or whatever yeah. the Mandela can hold. And it was scary, but really good. And then we did our own EP launch <coughs> last year, last May I think it was. 
and that still for me is like yeah. my favorite gig. Uh, you already have more than 2,000 fans on Facebook. Does that make you proud? Yeah. Yeah. I remember when you <laughs> like, the bar. I was like, yes, 1,000 people. Yeah, yeah 2,000 is pretty good. If all those guys bought a CD, <laughs> we could maybe eat some good food. Yeah, or came to a gig. <laughs> <laughs> Would you already say that you've, yeah, that you've made it in the music scene with 2,000 no, now? I don't know. We're when? like, we're, people know us in Belfast, but would like, it's great, but I want to be known. In England and Europe and stuff. As soon as you go away, it's like starting new again. Yeah. Just like because no one knows who we are over there. Like we might be kind of like big over here, maybe. I can't, I can't even say we're big. You can't, you can't be big in Belfast. It's Belfast. Do you, do you think that friendships an element of making a band work as well? Like if you all hate each other, it's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, obviously we're like we're like brothers, you know, and it's like. <laughs> yeah, but that's not literally no. But uh, yeah, at the same time, I think it's gotta you gotta have a little bit of tension in it to like. I don't know. Well, when there's times where it's, you, it's it's a good test for your friendship. What would you advise to people who want to start up a band who uh, they are 12, 13 years old playing the guitar and uh, lonely in a room and dreaming of a band? Never play until you're ready. <coughs> yeah. There's stages. You gotta be good enough for guitar or like whatever. If they play guitar, you gotta be good enough for your instrument before you join the band, and then the band has to be good enough together before you play. So many bands like have even like have asked us like. Like what to do and what not to do and stuff. I'm like, just like, well, we never got told, and like the yeah. biggest bands never got told what to do or what not to do. And when you take it so seriously like that, then that's when things might happen, but it's never gonna last, and or else just no, like won't ever happen. So just have fun.